I'm your host for the most local 23. You're joining me for Zombies vs. Aliens, Chapter 9. I guess she was telling the truth. Looking out over the horizon, you stare in awe at the alien ship hovering over Sirwich. I guess so. I still wouldn't have left those two together again. We had to split up. I think Fred's mad enough to keep a good eye on Ginger. And I think Ginger is rudderless without her princess. You study the alien ship for a moment. How do they even see out of that thing? At least it's not a colossal, like the one over Rochester. JD nudges you and gestures to a total minivan. <clears throat> There's blood on the windshield. She said that there was some kind of soldier here. What kind of soldier drives a soccer mom's car? Well, I'm more curious about whether or not he survived the crash. If he didn't, we have less time than we hoped. Look over to Bird, who seems ready to sprint out towards the ship at a moment's notice. Easy, bud. We'll get them back. Exactly how do you think we'll manage to sneak in without being vaporized, Lee? We've got a clear view for at least two miles around. Charging him blind will get us killed, and I'd rather survive this little encounter. You have JD a sideways glance. You've come a long way in the, uh, these last few days. This existence isn't so bad. Once you get to used to used to it, I'm not alone anymore. I want to keep it that way. Are we having a moment? JD laughs before looking back out to the ship. I'm just glad you guys found me. Me too, big guy. Right now, we need to deal with this. And as much as I'd like to survive this, one of us is going to have to get its attention. Why not use the expendables? Bert! Go get it! He gestured towards Bert. Don't let him follow me. Lee, wait! Leap over the wall, running for the ship with boring speed. A familiar hum fills the air, but you skid to a stop under the belly of the ship before they get a shot off. The hum dies down. Hard to hit a target hiding under your ass, right? You chance a glance back towards the others. You see Ginger sitting on top of a struggling Fred who obviously wants to dart after you. Why is she sitting on top of Fred? And where did they come? Never mind. JD is hunkered down with Bert. Wait, what's that sound? The metal of the ship ripples above you as if it's made of some strange liquid material. Suddenly two mechanical arms reach out from the hull, wrap around your waist, and pull you through the rippling wall. The transition feels like thousands of needles stabbing you all over your body. When you finally emerge to the other side, you find yourself looking into the faces of three aliens. Your body is almost completely numb from the pain. No way I can fight my way out of this one. Where's my Muppet? Stay silent. They probably they stare at you blankly. Take her to the holding block. I still have questions for the other one. The other one? Princess. It can't be Wolf Girl. She can't even dog. As its arm reaches out to lift you, you shove your feet off the ground with everything you've got. Both you and your captor fly across the room, slamming into the wall. Its, weaken, its grip weakens from the impact and you break free, when another alien pokes a strange copper rod to your chest. Without warning, you crumble to the ground in an agonizing heap. A few moments later, another zap brings you to, back to consciousness. You look up to see the alien walking out of what appears to be a holding cell. The wall closes behind him with a loud hum. Hello? I'm not alone. Do I... say hello? Herlo? Ah, uh, that damn zap stick. My mouth is tingling. Oh man, another one. What outpost were you taken from? His voice vibrates through the wall of your cell. Uh... Let me guess. New to your unit? Took me a month to memorize the active cabin numbers. Do you remember where you were when they nabbed you? His voice sounds human in ways you haven't heard for a long time. They grabbed me outside. We came here to investigate. No! How many were with you? Did any get away? We have to warn Fort Braden. Should I? I want to snap out of it. Listen, you need to calm the hell down. We will do what we can, but freaking out isn't going to help anyone. Oh, I, I... Okay, sorry. You're right. We'll think of something. What's your name? Kit. Got any ideas what kind of... might get us out of here? Hmm, one. Not a great one, but it's worth testing. Kit, could you move away from the wall? Uh, okay. What are you doing? Making a window. 
Oh, I like you. You punch the wall of your cell. The metal gives, but not before crunching your bones and shedding your skin in the process. What the? You look through the hole to see Kit, his back pressed to the far wall of a cell. Huh. Holy shit. You're dead. Hey! Tristan! What's up? <laughs> oh, you don't say. Easy on the eyes, not the brightest bulb. Kit stares at you in utter shock. What the hell are you? Mm, I'm the one to answer your prayers. Who knew superheroes comes in all shapes, sizes, and stages of decay? Seriously. Okay. I'm what happens when a common zombie nibbles on alien gray matter. I mean, it actually is purple, but that's not the point. Wait, 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 stop. Just hold on a second. You're like this because you ate alien brains? Yes. As I scan and study you, his arms folded over his chest. He is certainly thin. Wow. Where are these thoughts coming from? Are you feeling hungry? What? No, that's the trick. I don't notch humans anymore. In fact, I travel with one. Did you hear a young girl in here? I heard a female, but it was a woman, judging by my mouth. By the mouth on her. Yep, that would be Princess. When did she... when did they nab you? How long have you been here? About a day. I was on a routine inspection run looking for unreported activity. They materialized out of nowhere. I got a partial distress call out on my radio before they knocked me off the road with some sort of weapon. A day. Were you in the cabin? The rest of the initials on the co logbook were CM. Well, yes. Um, Lieutenant Chris Marlowe. At your service, Smith. Uh, though everyone calls me Kit. Do you have a name? Lee. How much do you remember? At the moment, not much, though I've been told my memory will come back in time. From your life, or your time as a zombie? I'm actually not sure. So when you aren't slumming it with the mutant zombies and an alien brig, what do you do? Kid smiles... Oh, smiles a living smile at you? That's interesting. White teeth and clean pink gums. He's far too pretty for a soldier. You avert your eyes. Well, Lee, I'm afraid I can't say much about that. Why don't do you ask me something else? You give him a look that makes him... And I clicked away. God damn it. Those alien a-holes didn't come running when you busted the wall. But they are definitely listening. You already had a name slip there, new lieutenant. How do you figure? Unfortunately, they already knew about Fort... Apparently, they've been observing us for some time. Something they made quite clear when they tried to torture me for information. As to know, I know. As to how I know they're listening, the other woman tried to speak with me. They carted her away when she mentioned something else. A ninja? Ginger. Is the other woman with you? A little. She's not alive and is female, but the similarities are in there. I take it you're good friends. Ah, uh, bosom buddies. How about you? I take it you didn't give them any information? Amateurs. They told me their intentions like comic book villain rejects. I don't even know how to throw a proper punch. I don't think they're trying to hurt you, Kent. They probably just love to have. Is my cell wall being becoming transparent? Staring out, you scoot towards how translucent wall... Reaching out with your hand, an injured hand. I wouldn't. Your fingers barely brush the wall with a, an electric jolt knocks you to the ground. Kit sighs and continues after nothing happened. Anyway, you think they weren't trying to hurt me? I can punch through metal, and these guys can kick my butt sideways. No, I don't think they were trying to hurt you. They didn't just work you over with those stupid stun sticks they have? They tried, didn't work on me. What? Don't look at me like that. I was as surprised as they were. Skates drifts over the wall of your cell, which is now fully transparent, a window. Looks like they're bringing your friend back in. You look up to see the trio of aliens dragging a beaten princess towards your cell. Raw bone just her skin below her eye socket. Her arms and nose are badly broken, her eyes are swollen shut. The aliens throw her down at your feet, causing blood to fleck onto your shoes. Is she... 
The aliens have made a choked hissing sound. Bastards are laughing at us. We shall return for the other soon. They march out of the room, leaving the three of you alone. Why not take me now? They're hoping we'll let something slip. Kit looks down at Princess. She stopped bleeding. He's right. Princess's wounds are already healing. Son of a... What? You sneaky bitch. Why, Lee? I didn't know you cared. Liv slowly sits up and eyes Kit. Well, aren't you adorable? They rough you up too, sweetie. <laughs> you look a lot different than you sound. Mmm, that's the idea, sugar. Liv quickly turns and gives you a look. Please tell me you didn't bring those idiots here. I didn't bring those idiots here. The outer wall of the ship is struck by a sudden impact, fl fl eh, filling the air with a gong-like roar. Fred? Mm, yeah, right. That was probably your boy headbutting the damn ship. You take advantage of the noise to whisper in her ear. Do they think you're alone? She nods and whispers back at you. Do you think you can boost me up? Up? Glance up at the top of your cell, a small opening rests in the center, as if someone sliced off the top of an egg. That seems like a bit of a design flaw, and almost too convenient. We won't have a large window once they figure out what we're doing. Leave that to me. You sure you can climb that with a bum arm? Leave that to me. Uh, guys? One. Raising herself, a trickle of moisture suddenly trips down your lips. Is that blood? Two. Oh my god, not again. Those same screams begin to echo and roar inside your head. Live what? Your entire world goes dark as the screams swallow you whole. Son of a... Biznich. <sighs> and here it was getting good! It was getting good! And that's it for this week with uh, Zombies vs. Aliens. Damn, it was getting good! So now we just have the Silent Twin. So, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you do subscribe or already subscribe, make sure to hit that bell. Head down to the description below. Links to social media or Discord and a few links to support me and my content. And also our Twitch channel, where I stream a lot of videos as of late. And you can follow me there, and you'll be updated. Uh, and it also helps support me um, when I go live and, well, my future ambitions to take over the world. But no, to be multi-platform. And uh, without further ado, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.